We have officially got the first big model leak. The most recent controversy around the new model Miku is actually a Mistral leak. I honestly did not expect this. If you are not familiar with this leak, let's take a look at the little bit of context about the model leak. So there was a model called Miku by somebody called Miku Dev that was posted on Hugging Face on Jan 28th. So now this model called Miku 170 billion. So the model weights were shared on Hugging Face and it has the same prompt format as Mistral. Now a lot of people speculated that this is a leaked version of Mistral Medium model. Mistral Medium is a proprietary model that Mistral did not release as open source. Mistral has previously released Mistral 7 billion version 1, Mistral 7 billion version 2 and Mistral 8x7 billion. So Mistral Medium is the model that actually beats chat GPT or GPT 3.5 Turbo, but Mistral did not open source it. Because everybody speculated this to be Mistral, this further got fueled when somebody on Twitter posted that Mistral, or in this case, sorry, MeQ, has got an EQ bench score of 83.5, which actually surpasses GPT-4. And there are other people who claimed that Mistral Medium and this MeQ has a very similar multilingual prompt responses. Even though there are claims that it is not exactly Mistral Medium, as of like this video is published, Arthur, Mistral CEO, tweeted an over-enthusiastic employee of one of our early access customers leaked a quantized and watermarked version of an old model we trained and distributed quite openly. To quickly start working with a few selected customers, we retrained this model from Lama2 the minute we got access to our entire cluster. The pre-training finished on the day of Mistral 7 billion release. We have made good progress since Stay tuned. In fact, Arthur went a step further ahead to go to the same repo where MiQ is there and raised a PR saying, can you give attribution? This is a very tongue in cheek moment on a PR to just say that you could have said this is Mistral. Now there are multiple questions that this poses. One, I could see that Mistral has not yet asked Hugging Face to take the model down. If you remember history, a very similar incident happened with Stable Diffusion or at least Stability AI. Stability AI had asked at the time to take down the model files in and itself. In this case, it doesn't seem like Mistral is asking Hugging Face to take down the model. That's the first thing. The second thing is Arthur actually mentions that this is a watermarked version of an old model. Now there are multiple questions. How did you watermark the model? Because when you say model weights, these are like literally weights. I know that you could watermark model responses, but how did they watermark the model in itself? I'm quite surprised to know how did they do that. The next thing is they said this was from Lama2. So if this model was from Lama2 and when the CEO claims that they distributed it quite openly, what was that model that they distributed? Because we know that they distributed three models and none of the three models came with the Lama2 license. So this is quite confusing. And the finally, like what is the data set that they used? Because this data set supposedly should be similar to Mistral Medium. So if it is just the data set that makes Mistral Medium powerful, or is it just something else? So it, these are like certain questions that I have got, but I don't know the answer. Maybe I'll start looking more around these questions. It's quite a shame that people decided to leak the model of a company which is quite trying to be open source. Honestly, like I, I didn't cover this until this point because I didn't want Mistral leak to be publicized. Like honestly, like I felt that. See, this is a company that has given us models that has given us base for fine tuning models and that has given us endless possibilities that no other company gave. I mean, we had stability AI, we had a lot of other things like, but Mistral was truly a moment that we did not expect for. Now taking one of those models, which they had kept, let's say reserved to make money and then releasing it or leaking it is honestly, in my opinion, it's a very petty task. I wouldn't want to publicize it. That's why I until now stayed away from covering this. But now because there is an official news from uh, Mistral CEO itself, I thought maybe it's worthwhile covering it and then asking for your opinion 
what do you think about it so we have a bunch of questions what like what is the model what is the data set how did the water market are they going to take it down and all these things but despite all these things at least i think it is very important to note that as these models become famous and famous as these models become very important i think one thing is very clear and obvious that model leaks are going to be a trend i mean this is probably the start but we might start seeing more and more model leaks coming into the picture i don't know how big companies that choose not to release a model would handle it but either way let me know in the comment section what do you think about this whole episode what am marking what is mistral doing with llama 2 or in fact do you find it fair if somebody is leaking a model from a company that is trying to be pro open source see you on another video happy prompting